What's up, YouTube? So we're back again on the PBE today, and today we're actually going to be doing a very interesting kind of build. So if you guys remember, uh, when we released a couple of videos a few days back, I told you guys to leave comments on what builds you would want to see. So one of the build ideas that you guys have left was actually a tank Hecarim build. So I saw someone called it the Vandral Combo. And it's pretty much where you go Spear of Shoujin into the uh, 800 HP tank mythic, which was Goliath's Ascendancy, and then afterwards building that into Titanic Hydra, and with that, you have infinite stacking HP and ability haste. So we're going to be giving that a try this game and seeing how good it is. So this game, since I'm doing more of like a tank build, I also decided to go for the little, uh, the little green guy. Just because usually I was doing like the blue one, but I kind of want to try how it feels to have the green one for like more tankiness. Gonna look for Krugs, and then we'll see how long the full clear timing actually takes. I think we'll be done by like 3.15 and then we have like... Oh wait, did they change it? So before in PBE, uh, when we played last time, Scuttle would spawn at 3.30. But it looks like now things spawn at 3.15 again. So I guess they like changed it again. Okay. That's interesting. I mean, Bond's looking to engage, so I'll just pop Ghost and then we'll go in for kill here. Perfect. Just like that. Is just your UGG timer thing? Oh, it's because I have the UGG timer and it hasn't updated yet. Okay, so it's still at 3.30. Okay. So I just thought the timer hasn't updated. Alright, so we'll just grab... Uh... <laughs> in boots. And then we'll grab Longsword as well. What is that green goo in his inventory? That's the jungle, the jungle pet. The jungle pet is a item that you buy. And then when you have it fully stacked, then it like consumes. Since we're going for an infinite HP stacking build, I could get to all my necks back and then play for um, Fimble Winter. Just so we can like fulfill more of that like tanky kind of role. So now we're just gonna finish Krugs and after that we'll look for Bokang. Okay, so you know what? I'll look for a buck anchor. here. Perfect. So we got the Kaylin for free and then I guess I can just reset. But you know what? Nah, let's do an invade on, uh, come. I want them to follow me here because I'm pretty sure Rudeur is going to be on this blue. And if he is, I want to kill him on it. Yeah, there he is. Mm. I could have tried to like go for that there, but... So now we'll just reset, we'll grab our tier, we'll grab this, and then we'll be okay. And now we'll just go for full clear, and then after full clear, I kind of want to look to get dragon, because if I can get dragon, then we can start really stacking up our little frog guy. I mean, we, the good news is, after I full clear my top side, we have enough of the, um, to get our 1200 damage smite. So now we're going to have our upgraded smite after we finish Grom, since we're going to pass 20. Perfect. So now we have the thousand damage smite. At Dauntless, I thought the other two jungle buddies would be better, are they not? So when I play Hecarim, I really like the cloud one, the one that gives you the move speed. But the reason why I'm doing this one this game is because we're doing and testing out a tank build. So since we're doing a tank build, I want to go for like the tankiest setup possible. What does upgrade smite do now? So when you upgrade it the first time, it does 900 damage and it's like a chilling smite. And then when you upgrade it the second time, it does like AoE damage to all the creeps around the thing that you spawn. It does 1200 damage. So in the past, you used to get, I think, like 3 or something like that. Um, it's just this. You used to get 3 or something like that. Um, treats from Dragon, but I think they reduced it. Because I only got like 2 for that, I think. Or even 1. Wait, fogged test. There's no way that's actually fogged, right? 
Wait, it is! <laughs> Wait, we queued into Fogged on PBE? Holy shit, okay. So he's doing Tank Trinomir? And I'm doing Tank Hecarim. Alright. Alright, so good. On my next reset, I can get my Spear of Shoujo now. Nice. Alright, so let's see the CDR I get now. 2.8 seconds Q cooldown, 11.15 W, and then 13 on my E. When I finish my Shoujin, it goes to 2.4, 9.3, 11.3. Not bad. And you also gain up to 15% increased MS based on your missing health. What? I think that's a new effect. I didn't see that before. Oh, because I think they nerfed the amount of, uh... They nerfed the amount of ability haste you get from it, but now they gave it that passive. I mean, that's, like, even better for Hecarim, though, so I'll take it. Yep. All we have to do now is take all of Udyr's top set. And then, we want to get Goliath's Ascendancy. Charge up powerful attack against a champion over 3 seconds. Okay, so my lobby said no R for, like, 30 seconds, so we're gonna go for a gank here. For sure with Conquer, I should just hard win now. Perfect. Alright, so what we'll do now is we'll just take the Wolves and then we'll finish Folk here. Good news is after Wolves, I finally have my upgraded jungle item. So now we get our shield too. Look. Boom. We got the little shield. And then we it regens, and then when the shield breaks, we get tenacity. So that's gonna be really good for us. Tenacity is always nice. So my Herald breaks open mid two, perfect. So just take that ball wave and then we'll go take Dragon. Now we can really starve Udyr of everything. Oh, they're gonna fight it. No, they wouldn't. Even if they do, my smite does turn to more damage than Udyr's, so he can never outsmite me. Now we just get on this. Oh, we got the we got the chem plant map. So the blast cone disappeared. I've never actually seen this map before. Okay, I ulted through her thing. Perfect. Okay, guys, what does this new map do? This new like chem plant map. Perfect. Nice. Okay. Holy shit, what? Bro, what was that? That range. And then you have scrying orbs literally everywhere. Oh my god, that's actually insane. Alright, so now let's just grab the Goliath's Ascendancy. And then we'll build Titanic Hydra. And then if the game lasts long enough, after Titanic, we go Fimble Winter. So we have 1% increased health and 6% champion size for every legendary item. You know what? Let's do the tank versus tank matchup. Dude, I wanted to, like, nice. So now the bugged Hecarim fucking boss gun interaction is twice as cancer to deal with. Nice. Sir, tell me that off one attack versus the Trinimir, I gain 37 health. That's actually so crazy. And then overgrowth gives us another 200 bonus health too. Wow. Nice. 
I just wanted to wait until I got the proc off on her. Okay. I can get another demolish proc on this guy. Nice. Damn. I thought I'd actually be able to do that, but I just don't really have that much damage. Once I get that Hydra, that's where we start to go a little crazy. Because all of this bonus health is going to just convert straight to damage. Good. So now what we'll do is we'll just take blue, we'll reset, we'll grab Titanic Hydra, take red, and then we'll take dragon, then we'll be okay. Blast coning right onto the red. Wow. So, our Titanic Hydra is giving us a bonus 44 AD. Our Shoujin gives us an extra 23 ability haste. Q is less than 2 second cooldown, W is only 7. Bro, we're just like... Because the thing is, we're stacking, like, health, and then the health converts to damage, and then damage converts to ability haste. So, it's, like, super crazy. That's the beauty of getting th these three items, right? Because the more AD you have, the more uh, ability haste you get from Shoujin. And then, the more health you have, the more, like... Damage your Hydra deals, and no, it's just really crazy. Okay, my team should be able to deal with Chenmere. So I'll just leave them. Perfect. Bro, these pants so give you 150 per. Now we just get the Nautilus? Perfect. So now we can probably just like run away and we're chilling. So now, what we do is we reset, we grab our Fimble Winter, we get this, and then we get Elixir of Iron. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. This looks absolutely fucking disgusting. Holy shit. I have 5.5k HP right now. I'm gaining 73 attack damage from my Titanic Hydra. And look at my size too. Damn, boy, he thick! Bah! Like, that's actually insane. No, they cannot do anything. If he wants to fight me, he can, but nah, look at this. Look at this, I'm literally not even taking- Dude, <laughs> I'm literally just not even taking damage. I'm just full HP. There's nothing they can do, it's actually insane. That's what you can just end here, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the tank Hecarim build. So you can use Demolish on champions now. And, uh, <laughs> honestly, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. But with Conquer, this shit actually feels really nice. I don't think with Phaser should be viable. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, sub if you haven't already, and I will see you for the next one. Peace.